What's up guys? I am just uploading to YouTube. I'm at the computer right now and I was just reminded of something. Stay tuned to the end and I'll talk you through exactly what that RPM wiring Oops. issue was. I totally forgot. So let's talk about exactly that. So let's take a look at the G3X installation manual. So the interconnect show light speed ignition, electronic uh, ignition, four cylinder out high goes into the GEA 24 pin eight on connector J243. And then you have a 2.2 kilo ohm pull down resistor. That's a subject for a whole nother video. But the, uh, the thing that got me is this word right here out high i realize that that's just the signal out and they don't want to put a pin in in case light speed changes the pin outs in the in the future but that word right there got me so let's take a look at the uh, light speed connectors out and in all right so first of all You've got two connectors on the light speed. Okay, you've got an input connector and an output connector. All right, on the output connector, you do have an RPM out pin. All right, it's for an analog TAC, 0.3 volts equals 3000 RPM. And so I bit off on that one based upon, like I said, this word out because I'm a simpleton, I saw out and I figured an RPM uh, signal would be on the output connector. Well, that's where I went wrong. Take a look at the input connector. Right here on pin six is the digital or the pulse signal. It's uh, plus 10 volts um, and then it's gonna pulse every time the magnet on the flywheel gets a pulse, so it's, there's two of those magnets, so that's why two pulses for revolu per revolution for a four cylinder, and you set that up in the G3X touch. And then there's also a note here, open source connector. You can actually have light speed wire it such that you don't need a 2.2 kilo ohm uh, resistor, but uh, it's easy enough to put one of those in. So that hopefully answers the question. The thing you need to look for is on the input connector, despite uh, this word out right there. That doesn't mean output. It doesn't mean the output connector. It's just a signal out. It just happens to be on the input connector on the light speed ignition. So was it simple to rewire? Not exactly. Um, I, you know, you had to get in underneath the console and pull it out. And uh, what I ended up doing, because it was pretty challenging by myself to wire it, um, I got the left, I got the left uh, ignition wired up correctly with the two pulses per revolution to that input pin, whatever it was, pin ten, uh, pin six, excuse me. So I got that hooked up, and then. I already obviously had an input or ha had a line connected to on the right ignition to the analog tack. So I got kind of curious and lazy at the same time since I didn't rewire this, uh, the right ignition. I will at some point, um, but I just want to get it, it flying. But so I, I actually wired this up to a general purpose pin in the GEA 24. And then if you've ground out the low connector on that uh, the associated pin it'll be an analog uh, voltage sensing general purpose pin and it'll get me a, uh, a voltage signal and I and then you can go in the back end the configuration settings of the G3X touch and I, what I did is I told it 0.3 volts equals 3000 uh, on on the uh, RPM now it cannot 
As of now, Garmin can't use a general purpose pin to back up your RPM indication. Indication It has to be a pulse type thing. So the impact of that is when I go from, when I, I'm doing my run up test and I go from doing the old mag check, right? It's, it's the electronic ignition check. I go from both to right, my RPM is gonna go away. I go back to left, my RPM comes back, right? So that's not ideal. So at least I do have an indication of uh, the right RPM, and that's going to be on an analog gauge. I'll show it to you here. Let's pull it up. You can see it from, let's find it. It was my taxi test. Where was it? Okay, right in through here. All right. Boom. So... If you look right here, that that RPM is is coming from the pulse type off the left ignition. Okay, the right RPM, and they're they're off, and I'll talk about why here in a second. Why I think so. I, I have this just analog gauge, which is RPM two, just going to back up our, uh, the left ignition, and it's a good indication. Is hey, if I lost an ignition, I'm still going to have RPM, and I can easily tell which which ignition system I lost because I didn't the LSE plasma 3 comes up comes with two LED red lights that you can wire up I didn't want to mess with it because there's plenty of other ways to tell if an ignition has failed now why is this showing a different RPM I think that since I mentioned the associated pin on GP6, uh, the signal pin goes to the voltage and then the, the low pin has to get grounded out. I grounded that just on the back shell, so there might be some noise on that. And I think that that's what's affecting this number. So more testing to come, but I just wanted to kind of give you an overview on what the fix was and a heads up, don't do like I do and uh, wire it to the output put voltage pin wire it to the input pin with the pulse type uh, and then don't forget the uh, 2200 ohm resistor for the pull down okay uh, that might generate some questions leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer that but I'm gonna leave this one here cheers see ya